Hey guys, if you've been wondering what's the best specialities in the game right now, the new overpowered positions that you should definitely play to generate better winning chances, this guide is for you. So hello everyone, I'm Uncle Mish and this my speciality guys in the new match engine and the new era is upon us. No more the times of the 6-7 uh, head players in our lineup. A lot of changes, some specialities got nerfed, some got buffed, some new specialities and let's dive into the guide. So... The first thi thing that I wanted to speak with you about is that possession is out. No more is the time that you need to possess the ball to generate or to get special events. The only special events that are triggered by possession and by uh, winning the midfield are corner events, experience forward and inexperienced defender. Other than that, all the other specialities are triggered by the number of players uh, with the specialities that you have in your lineup. So you could have a lot of special events without controlling the ball. The more specialities that you have, the better uh, the chance that you will get the event. And another new thing that uh, is right now that the tactic skill has a skill cap. You, you, it's not just a tactic that you are playing anymore. You actually have a skill cap on it. So, creative tactic has a level, and three things about the creative tactic: it's, uh, playing creative affects three things. How easily will you uh, trigger the special event? How many special events in the game, and which team will get an event? Every team that plays a creative uh, tactic will add another special event to the game. So if both teams play the uh, creative tactic, uh, the game will have two more special events in the game. And a higher level in uh, creative tactic could generate twice as much uh, special events than your opponent. And let's see about the specialities in um, particularly. So we will start with the quick players. And the quick players got a slight nerf. They aren't as good as they were, but not that bad compared to other things that we will see. So we can see that quick rushes on his own and quick rushes and passes the ball got slight nerves from 6% to 3.6 and from 5% to 3.7. So the chances that you will generate a quick event are slightly smaller, but still pretty okay. Another thing that right now uh, positioning your a quick defender could stop a quick event by 100% or by 25%. By the example that you can see on the screen, if you are placing your defender in front of the forward, you will stop him by 100%. Uh, nothing else is matters and no, the, not the stamina, not the experience, not the... Uh, scoring versus the defending nothing. If he's in front of the attacker, he will stop the position, uh, the chance. If he is slightly to the side, uh, the chance to stop the event is lower to 25% before uh, the match engine will consider if the chances is a goal or not. And you have a small table here, so you could actually see uh, how to position your uh, quick uh, defender uh, to stop the event or to have a 25% chance to stop it. So uh, just look at your, the lineups of your opponents if they're consistently playing with a quick winger or consistently playing with a forward to the right. Uh, from the right side, you know where to place your um, center defender to stop the event, and that's it. Easy as that. That's about the quick speciality. Now, let's dive to something much more interesting, and that's the unpredictable. People in the old match engine would, would not touch the unpredictables because 
they would do more damage than they will do uh, good things maybe other than the unpredictable goalkeeper but right now the unpredictable got a lot of love from the developers of the game so you can see that unpredictable long pass is almost three times more uh, uh, have three times more sorry uh, from 1.4% to 4.2% to have the event. Unpredictable scores by his own five times more. It's a 500 uh, addition uh, to get the event from 1% to 5%. And unpredictable special action is by uh, twice as likely to have the event. And also the the unpredictable mistake is lowered which is pretty nice right now you don't have to worry about your unpredictable players uh, doing mistakes and scoring uh, a goal against you another interesting thing for the creative tactic unpredictable players contribute twice to the tactic compared to the rest of the players so definitely you should have some unpredictable players in your squad What's about the technicals? Well, the technicals are still getting nerfed and especially the technical defensive forward. Um, let's see, the chances to get an event for a technical against a head player is lowered again uh, from 1.9 to 1.4 but men marking works better on technical players if you have a technical defensive forward or technical forward or a technical inner midfielder and they are getting men marked you will suffer uh, by the example that you can see here on the screen a te defensive technical forward uh, is generating an 11 and a half and a half stars and as he get men mark his star count lowered to three from 11 and a half to three and the team had suffered hugely in the uh, ratings uh, they got uh, uh, lower midfield by uh, because of that and lower center and um, uh, lower attack which is pretty pretty intense another thing um, new position a technical defender and if you have a technical defender that could be a good thing because he can generate a spontaneous counter attack the only thing that uh, you need to do is to have enough passing on him because every time your opponent will miss an attack you could generate a spontaneous counter attack with the technical defender which is nice and another speciality that got a huge buff and that's the powerful players first first of all two new positions the first one the power forward pnf this uh forward that you are placing as a normal and if he has a powerful speciality he could generate extra attacks for you. After your team gets a normal chance, a penalty or a free kick and you missed it, your power forward could generate an extra attack that could uh, and he could score. So he needs some playmaking and he needs some uh, scoring because as more playmaking he has the bigger chance that he will trigger this special event and the higher his scoring the better the chance that he will realize and score the event and that's the first one and you actually have one point almost 1.6 percent uh, for this chance to occur in a game the other position new position that we have it's the sitting midfielder the sitting midfielder is a powerful defensive inner midfielder that can press an attack of your opponent he needs some stamina he needs some defending but actually it's like a free pressing tactic that works only against your opponent because if you're playing a pressing tactic you can press your own attacks as well but if you only playing a sitting midfielder he could press an attack of your opponent 
And if you are playing against a long shot team or you are playing against a team that you want to press as much uh, chances that you can, just play uh, pressing tactic and have a ceiling midfielder and it works on top of the tactic so you will enjoy both words. Another thing that you need to consider is uh, super population of those positions. So for the power forward, forward, sitting midfielder and also the technical defensive forward, if you are playing with two or three of the same position, they will suffer a penalty. For two players in the same position and same speciality, they will suffer a 4% penalty of on all their skills and for three players in the same thing, 7.5%. Uh, penalty, which is pretty huge. Don't play uh, too much of the same. Just vary it a little bit. And the head speciality. Well, I wouldn't say it's dead, but it got targeted very intensively. So, winger passing to a head player got uh, lowered from 3.6% to less than 1%. And the big thing the corner events that were corner to a head player which you had 25% for this special event to occur in a game it was lower to 8% 8% is not uh, nothing by any means but from 21 to 25% to 8% percent that that's a huge downgrade so head players are not as powerful as they were before you should definitely have a couple of them in your squad but maybe uh, slightly more but don't build build all your team on head players that's wrong some other special events that we need to consider is stamina experience and inexperience event so tire defender making a mistake got uh, more likely by uh, two times but still it's pretty small from from uh, 0 uh, 18 to 0 70 uh, 31 so still less than 1% for anything. Experience forward uh, getting a scoring goal got slightly slightly uh, better chances and inexperienced defender actually um, uh, suffering uh, this event an inexperienced defender making a mistake and a team getting a goal it's buffed from 0 0.35 to 1.25 uh, which is pretty nice. And a new speciality. It's called the support player. And there isn't an icon uh, in the game right now, so I just added something else. But a support player is a player that if his event, special event, getting triggered, he will get a boost of 20% to the rating of the nearby players. That's good. The downside, if uh, if his experience is pretty low, he could um, uh, get a chance that your organization will drop. So, so in the beginning, when those players are getting trained, I, I suppose you will suffer a few of those events. But eventually, when your player will have enough experience and you, you will not suffer this uh, negative event, the positive event is huge. You will have... A boost of 20% for nearby players of the support player. So just as an example, a middle forward will generate 10% more for the left forward and 10% more for the right forward. If you are playing against a team that plays only counter attack and you really want to uh, smash their defense or maybe you are playing against a long shot team, uh, play a support forward, he will generate more attacking uh, ratings for you. Um, also, the other things, just look at the table and see how it's triggered. The support player could be a very interesting addition. So, some suggestions for the lineup, and here you can see another uh, speciality that I haven't talked about because it's very rare one, and that's the resilient player. As a resilient player, is just a player that is less susceptible for injuries and he will heal faster. Uh, basically, I think it's mainly 
good for uh, goalkeepers because you really want your uh, superb goalkeeper to not get injured or to heal faster and other specialities aren't very good for goalkeepers and except of uh, unpredictable goalkeeper that has a very rare event and um, support goalkeeper which could be pretty good so maybe a resilient or a support player so a couple of head players you should definitely have in your team because head events are still um, something that could occur in the game but not the whole squad of uh, head players. Uh, unpredictables, you should definitely have a couple of them. I think a uh, winger could be good and also maybe a uh, uh, defensive forward, unpredictable defensive forward because man marking is getting very uh, popular and unpredictable players are harder to man mark. They suffer less of the penalty. Um, compared to normal players and compared to technical uh, players that by, by a huge margin. So, uh, power forward, a good speciality to generate some extra attacks after you miss. Um, sitting midfielder to press some attacks of your opponents. Uh, I would say maybe a quick defender to block the chances, uh, the scoring chances of your uh, opponent's quick uh, players. And what else do we have? Yeah, as I said, some head specialities and maybe a support inner midfielder or support something else to have some boosts to your ratings. So guys, that was my guide for the special events in the match engine, the new match engine. I hope you liked it and you could uh, think uh, to and um, implement this. Uh, if you have some other suggestions, please comment uh, below. I would happily hear uh, new ideas or maybe things that I haven't heard about. And if you like the video, please press like and you su can subscribe for the channel. And for now, that's it. I was Uncle Mish and I'll see you around.